Cody here with Tiny Wood Stove. I uh, just wanted to do some quick uh, maintenance that I do every um, year. We're getting into colder temps now. Mornings are starting to be in the uh, high to mid 30s. Um, so this stove is gonna get into regular use here um, for the next uh, six months. So uh, before we get into that, uh, I just wanted to uh, make sure everything's you know working, gasket's good. Um, you know, everything's cleaned out. I'm gonna do a flue clean. I'll show you our flexible um, flue cleaner uh, that goes on the end of a drill bit, which is super helpful. Um, but right now, I'm basically just going to do some cleanup on the stove. Um, first thing I do is a little wet, wet rag. Um, I'm gonna get some of these ashes from inside here from the last burn. And I'm just gonna scrub this right here. Uh, and basically the abrasives from that ash and the water is gonna clean up all this uh, build up on this glass. Um, so we'll get this good and clean, get some more ash, scrub this stuff off. Some of the, the harder stuff, um, this actually happened on a recent fire where a log rolled to the, to the front of the fire. Um, you know, that'll happen when there's wood and fuel close to the glass. Outside of that, this little air wash is going to keep this glass nice and clean a majority of the time. So still got a little up there, with a little more ash. Just gonna scrub that guy. Some more water too. And a little elbow grease on that guy right there. Flip this up to the clean side. Give it a one last little wipe. Squeaky clean. So that's that. Uh, next thing I do is I'm gonna remove this baffle. So that just slides up, kind of twists to the side and comes out. These little feet on here, you can see those little feet, those go down. So just remember that when you put it back. Uh, and then we got this trusty tool. Um, and uh, it works great using the air controls if they're hot. Uh, they don't really get that hot. The nice thing about this spring handle, you can touch that regardless of how hot it is or how hot the stove is. Um, and you're going to go in here and grab this ash pan, which doubles as a shovel. Uh, so I'm going to just dump these into this little container I've got. And I'm going to take this and get all these ashes up on this top section. So now if that's clean, you could go a step further. Uh, and uh, I don't know if you can see down in this bottom section right here, um, there's grates um, down in there. And uh, you can pop this whole, you can lift this whole thing up and kind of get down in there, um, vacuum them out. You can see it'll kind of build up on the sides here. Um, it's good to just get that out um, and clean that out. And then you can see, I don't know if you can see back in there, with this little air control, that's where the, the bottom air comes in. You can see some ash build up there. Um, so I'm just gonna vacuum that out uh, and get that nice and clean. All right, guys and gals, I'm about to uh, head up on the roof here and get this guy cleaned up. I've got my trusty collapsible ladder set up there. Um, I've got kind of all the pieces I need down here, uh, drill bit, there are the two links there, um, and I'll show you those a little up close here in a second. Um, basically, we're gonna get up there, uh, take off the roof vent at the top, so it's just a 10 millimeter um, socket to get that top clamp off. We'll loosen that, kind of jiggle that off, um, and then I'll start with these two rods to go down. Uh, make sure the stove door on the inside is uh, closed, because everything that you loosen in that and clean out of that flue is gonna fall down into the stove, and then later we'll clean that out. Um, so give you a quick rundown of the, uh, the chimney cleaner kit that we sell on our website. Okay, so here is the flexible flue cleaner that we have uh, on our website. Uh, it's my 10 millimeter socket to loosen the clamp. Um, this goes um, into the drill. So I've gotta, you've gotta have a drill. Um, this will go into the drill and then this little uh, thing right there uh, clips into the opened in here. You can start with, I'll start with one section just because it's kind of easier to get to. So I'm gonna start with just that top section uh, right here. And once I get that far down, I'll pull it out, add this next uh, section to it. Um, and that'll get me 
a majority of the way through um, and then we'll go inside clean everything that gets knocked down um, and then we can go I'll show you how to go from the inside of the stove as well because that's another option so you can buy longer rods um, you can buy them uh, extra lengths of rods on the website as well if you have a really long flue or you can do half up half down um, if you don't want to get on the roof, you can do it all from the inside of the stove. It can get a bit, be a little messier, um, but we'll show that here in a second. So this is what the flu cleaner kit uh, on the website looks like. All right, so I'm up here on the roof in uh, sunny Oregon. Beautiful day, up in the 70s today. Uh, so mine's going to look a little different. I got these pipes from Nick back in 2015 when Randy and I were building this house. Uh, so this is going to look a little different than yours. Um, basically, I got a pipe clamp right here. I'm loosening that. I'm just going to slide this guy off. Um, it's also an older version of a roof vent. Um, but yeah, so now you got that off. Uh, you can see down in here some of the creosote buildup, a little, little crusty stuff. Um, it's not too bad. You want to make sure it's um, crusty and not gooey. Um, the gooey stuff can be pretty gnarly. Um, but so yeah, so now that I got that, grab my drill and this guy, I'm going to just snap this guy on. Like I said, I start with one just because it's easier to get down in there. Um, these things are really long, you know, they're made for anything. You know, it does a four inch pipe, which is this four kilowatt pipe, six inch outside diameter four inch inside um, it can do all the way up to a six seven inch pipe um, you know so they're very universal we're just gonna cram this guy down in there and we're gonna pull the trigger and start spinning it and i'll do this all the way up and down and then i'll uh, uh make sure that that's really clipped in so it doesn't slide out again <laughs> don't want that to get stuck down in there uh so get that in there and then I'm going to go up and down and then I'll add that a second rod in there um, and finish that out. All right, so we've finished the doing it from the top. Uh, so I'm going to show you what uh, kind of came down in here. Um, just open that up and pop this out again. It's just easier uh, to not have this in the way. Uh, and you can see, I'm going to kind of bring you in closer here. You can see all this kind of fine dust right here. That's creosote, these little bitty pieces here. So not a lot. Um, so what I'm gonna do is put you back over here. Is I'm gonna, everything that we loosened in the flue uh, is now gonna be resting on top of this baffle that's sitting in here. You could have taken this out beforehand, probably would have been a good idea. I didn't. Um, so I'm gonna pull this out. We can kind of see what's landed in top there. And then this is how you would also, if you <clears throat> if you want to clean from inside the flue, this is how you would do it. Um, this is in our unboxing video as well. Nick will show you how to kind of do this, but there's basically a baffle that sits on a lip on the inside and on this back plate in the back. So what you do is you lift up and then kind of drop it down. So we're gonna lift up, get it off that lip. Bring that out. So a lot of stuff there. Um, I'm gonna knock it down in the back so uh, as not to make a mess. I think a mess is inevitable at this point in time. But again, some more of that creosote on top, and you can really see what we cleaned out of there now. Um, so I don't know if you can see. That's a that's a good pile of stuff. So that was all just kind of on the inside of the pipes. This is why you want to do this. Um, sorry, my cameraman is not the best. Uh, this is definitely why you want to do it at least one time in the middle of the year. Kind of depends on what you're doing. Um, ended up having to burn a little more softwood than I wanted last year, um, just access wise. Got a good amount of maple and juniper this year, so um, hopefully we won't see this much build up. But uh, I'm going to clean this out. Again, use the scooper vacuum just like we did with the ash. I mean, I'm messing here. All 
Hey guys, thanks for taking the time to watch the video on how to clean a flu system uh, with our flexible cleaning kit that can be found on our accessory page. Uh, just a great addition to your toolkit anytime you have a wood stove. Again, this is Cody uh, with Tiny Wood Stove. This is my four kilowatt in my 20 foot tiny house. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at support at tinywoodstove.com. Thanks again.